What's up, YouTube? It's Toron, bringing you another episode of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Uh, this is my 4th of July edition, just saying thank you to the men and women of the United States military and all those people in the, in the in past history that have sacrificed for my freedom and for our country's independence. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I took some time today to actually build this flag. Um, I would have shown you guys the speed build, but... Uh, I had some issues with the recording. My computer actually decided to choke up, and Minecraft crashed, and Fraps crashed, and it was a long story. But uh, end result is I, I don't have the video, but I do have the end result, which is this amazing, beautiful United States flag. Um, I just want to say again, thank you to all the men and women of the military and those that have sacrificed in the past and that are going to sacrifice in the future. I know that freedom comes at a cost. It's never free. And that there are people that sacrifice everything for our, our country to remain free. And I just want to say thank you. Uh, I am also going to go ahead and give you guys a quick little tour of where the base is at again. Uh, just so you guys can kind of see, get an update about what's going on. But I wanted to show you guys this first. And I'll probably end up coming to a still of this after we're done and end on the flag again. Uh, just in appreciation for everything that's been done. But this is uh, my, my 4th of July celebration today and my appreciation for everything that's happening and for those that have sacrificed for me and for my freedom and my independence. And I just want to say again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause out here and we'll hit the world and then we'll come back. Thanks everybody. We'll be back with you in a minute. Alright you guys, we're back here in the lovely cave. Or oh, not really the cave, but I guess you could call it the uh, staging ground where we kind of have everything stored at the moment. As you can see here, I have a lovely chest system that I've set up. And this is basically where I've been storing all the stuff I've been either getting off of killing mobs or or whatnot. I also have smooth stone that I've been cooking in these. Or regular stone, whatever the heck you want to call it. I hear it called so many different things. It's... But... So what we're going to do here is we're going to go down and give you guys a quick tour of how we're doing. So as you can see here, I spent a great deal of time leveling this out. I have the the eight blocks wide path that goes all the way around. I still need to fill in a lot of it. That's what the uh, regular stone cooking in the furnaces is for. And then I have all these holes that are in the ground from where I've been you know, luckily that I don't have to dig it out. And so what I've been doing... Uh, excuse me. What I've been doing here is basically... Um, th this is going to go down to floor level 6. And it's starting at 21. Which is 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're currently at 17. Which means we have another 11 floors to dig down. Or 11, 11 layers, or whatever you want to call them. So, 11 layers down is going to... It's quite a bit of work still. But this actually goes pretty quick. I've actually used some TNT in a few places to just blow up a bunch of... Uh, I just, instead of having to dig it out, I've dug down, put some TNT, lit the fuse, and ran. What's nice is I can actually go down into some of these places... I could dig into the wall, make some tunnels, and drop some TNT through all those. The only places that I can't really use TNT is on the sides because they have to be, you know, I have to kind of come over here and dig down on each of the sides to make sure that I get it right. So what I've done basically, ah, eh, what I've been doing is I've been going around the edges and what I do is I just dig out the edges and replace it as I go and then that way I kinda know where to stop as I'm digging or blasting my way around like this area here I'm gonna have to fill in down here I'll fill that all in and then finish filling out the uh, I'll finish building the edges down so that it's the same all the way down. And 
but this is kind of what I've been doing, other than that giant American flag that I just showed you guys a minute ago. Um, I've pretty much spent most of my time just digging this thing out. I want to get it done so I can put the water down in the bottom here. Because the bottom three levels, basically six, seven, and eight, are going to be all water. And that's going to take a little bit of work to do. That looks pretty cool because of the lighting. So 6, 7, and 8 are all going to be water. And we're going to have a, an island in the middle that everything connects to. And then we'll have bridges that come across from the sides. Uh, it should look pretty awesome when I finally get it finished. Um, and that's what I'm working on now. Basically why I have the rest of the evening and tomorrow and stuff to work on it. I'm trying to get as much dug out as I can. Um, I'm going to use some TNT. That'll start to speed things up a great deal. And that way we can have that all done and start moving on to creating the animal farm area and a few other things that I want to do I'm just I'm looking forward to getting at least the major portion of it dug out there's still gonna be a lot of work to do because I still want to I still wanna like create a bunch of rooms and make it like this epic kind of castle type confusing maze section just for fun to throw people off if they ever come here. Because I am actually considering turning this world into a uh, an SMP world. Once I get a few of these projects finished. I think it would be really cool to get this finished and then turn it into an SMP world. Just for the, you know, for the lols. I'm also considering uh, building a, an actual spawn town. And then cre after I build a spawn, t uh, you know, at least the starting of a spawn town then I can um, release it as an SMP world and let people start playing with me and you know expand the world with other individuals besides just myself. But yeah, you guys, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, that American flag was, you know, one of the coolest, cooler projects that I've done recently, and I really like it. So we're going to cut back to that American flag for a moment here, and then I'm going to go ahead and end the video. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Peace.